Hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. And my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can decide whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a particular film. So the particular film I'm reviewing today is called The Present. This cute time loop movie is now playing in select theaters as well as on Fandango at home. The movie is rated PG-13. It is pretty family friendly, but I'll give you tips for parents in just a minute. It's an hour and 26 minutes long and my overall movie review mom grade is a B. I thought it was really cute. So first I'm gonna give you an overview in a nutshell and then I'll point out things I liked, things I didn't like, tips for parents, Themes worth talking about, funny lines, interesting lines, and recommendations for other films that are sort of similar that you might also really like if you enjoy this one. All right, so in a nutshell, I love time loop movies. And this story is about a family on the verge of falling apart. The autistic youngest son discovers he can manipulate time by using an old grandfather clock that the family inherited. He teams up with his siblings to try to stop their parents from getting a divorce by going back in time. My parents divorced when I was only 10 years old, and it can be really tough on a kid while the family is in upheaval. But I can tell you that it actually impacts everyone involved for their entire lives. Now, as a 10-year-old, my sisters and I were not smart enough to try to prevent the divorce, but we couldn't have, even if we were that smart at the time, we just understood that our family was falling apart. The film was directed by Christian Ditter and writing credits go to Jay Martel. So quick tips for parents. Overall, the movie is family friendly with kids shenanigans designed to preserve the family. In that regard, the movie is very sweet. These kids just want their parents to stay together, which I think any kids whose parents are getting divorced has that same feeling unless they recognize and they're older and they recognize that that relationship is not healthy and causing more damage to a family. But anyway, back to the tips for parents. There is some profanity and sometimes spoken by kids, which I really hate. There is an edge of sketch that's used in creative ways to communicate. And I never could make anything decent with it. We gave one to our kids and, you know, they kind of poked around with it, but nothing like what we see in this film. We do see a woman in her underwear. Kids vandalize a condo. A married couple talks about taking a nap together, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Some of the themes that are illustrated really well are family, time, marriage and divorce, second chances, and rekindling romance. So some of the things that I really like start off with the cast, which is really great and includes Isla Fischler. I've also heard her name pronounced Isla Fisher. So however you pronounce that, Greg Kinnear, Ryan Guzman, and Arturo Castro. The adorable kids are played by Shay Rudolph, Sam Wieselenko, and Mason Shay Joyce. I thought that they all were adorable and just did a really good job. The musical score is magical. We get an audio cameo of President Barack Obama through the voice talents of Iman Crossan, which I just thought was kind of funny. Have you ever had a beignet? It's kind of a fancy square-shaped powdered sugar donut. The first time I ever tried one was in New Orleans, where they're very famous and delicious. Anyway, they're featured in this movie. The movie also did a really great job illustrating that it takes work for a family to live happily together. It doesn't just happen. I really like the title because it reminds us that we only have right here, right now, to make the positive changes that we want to see happen in our life. Now, onto the list of things that I didn't like, or I just thought they could have been done differently or better. For example, there really is no clear explanation as to why the grandfather clock has magical powers to go back in time, but it's all in good fun, so don't overthink it. There also isn't really a clear reason why Mr. and Mrs. Deal want to divorce. For example, there's no talk of infidelity, but just a growing apart due to the typical busy life that so many married couples and families live nowadays. 
Greg Kinnear is so funny and so talented in almost all of his movies. And so I wish that his role in this movie had been written a little bit better to showcase how awesome that he can be. I, I've never seen him in such a vanilla role as he is in this one. And so that was disappointing. There were quite a few loose ends in the story that could have easily been worked into the final rolling credits at the very least, and just would have been a nice touch at the end. Uh, and then I was expecting kind of a wink in that final image, again, to the audience to let them know this was all magic and it's not going to happen in real life and just to be kind of a cute ending. Uh, now, whenever I watch movies, I take notes, of course, and I write down the funny lines and interesting lines that I hear simply so I can share them with you so you can get a taste for the dialogue. I'll share some with you right now, but you can see all of this on my written review at moviereviewmom.com. So <laughs> there's this one scene where first the youngest son knows that he can change time by using this clock. And then finally he tells his sister. And then finally the oldest brother is let in on the scoop. And so he's like, forget mom and dad, let's go to Vegas, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Anyway, and then for the interesting lines, Greg Kinnear, who plays the dad says, do you ever think there's a way back? And one of the supporting characters is the therapist, the marriage counselor that they go to, who is just hilarious and ridiculous. And, you know, they're not getting any help from that guy. And so they're trying to figure out, can we work it out together alone, just between the two of us? And then there's another very sweet line that just made me go. <laughs> and that's also spoken by Greg Kinnear. And he says to the wife, I want to stay with you and the kids. There's no other home for me. So there is a lot of miscommunication and silly goofiness that goes on. But ultimately, this, the story is very predictable in the end. Now, when I was watching this movie, I instantly thought of three movies that are sort of similar that I wanted to recommend. The first one is Groundhog Day, which I think is just the ultimate time loop movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen that, you definitely need to check it out. Another one I really like is called About Time. And I just absolutely love the ending. And I won't give you a big full spoiler, but one of the big ideas is for, for people who are so lucky to relive life, live it, you know, just as it happens, and then go back and make the changes and enjoy the moments and the life. And I just thought that was really sweet. And then another interesting time loop movie is called The Time Traveler's Wife. And interestingly enough, those two movies about time and The Time Traveler's Wife both star the same actress, who I think is fantastic. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. If my reviews are helpful, then give them a thumbs up or comment down below or subscribe. You know the drill. When you get a minute, visit me on my Facebook group called Movie Review Mom. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.